Hey guys, Jay here and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to convert voices to specific voices. So for example, I want to convert my voice into a cartoon character, my voice to Sonic, my voice to Shadow, my voice to Eggman, etc, etc. So first and foremost, please do apologize for for my speeches. So this is just my first time on creating this video tutorial for you guys so please bear with me so yeah i'm not good at speaking i'm not good at uh you know vlogging or my creating tutorial videos and narrating you know so please bear with me gentlemen ladies and gentlemen so uh yeah as i've said i'm going to i'm creating this video tutorial for you guys how am i doing this stuff how am i able to convert voices to voices how am i able to you know how I'm able to create vocal models, voice models, okay? So, what I'm currently using is RVC, or what we call uh, retrieval-based for voice conversion. So, so this is a pretty famous one. I've seen so many people use this tool to create very funny meanings, very many AI covers, vocal covers of famous songs. Yeah, so you can use this, but please, please be, please bear that this is not for commercial purposes. So this is just to entertain audiences and it's not for, you know, self-promotion or uh, what you call it for any profits or any uh, credit. So this is not for commercial purposes, just for entertainment. So please use this responsibly. Please use the tool responsibly. Okay. So this is the interface of the web version of RVC. I'm I'm used to the web version in uh so this is more uh easier for me to navigate settings and other stuff. So if you want to create a voice model for you or for a character, you need to have you need to have a, a set of uh, uh a set of tools. First and foremost is your microphone. First your microphone must be clear in recording so when you're recording your vocals make sure that there's no uh, background noises no echoes it's just your vocals only only your vocals dry vocals no echoes no reverbs no background noises etc and etc you know once you have created and make sure before i forgot make sure if you are creating a vocal sample it has different emotions so uh dry uh for example uh uh angry emotion you're screaming you're making your voice louder a very calm emotion if you're talking silently or a very calm voice a neutral voice if you're talking to somebody else or some or you know so uh, ai must have those different types of emotions also in your vocal sample okay so i'm not going to show you i i'm only going to show you uh, how uh, what's the settings that you're going to toggle or you're going to tweak? So, I uh, this is the train tab. So, of course, you need to have your experiment name, for example, test, or it's up to you how are you going to name your voice model, okay? And, yeah, the target sample rate, I use 48K. Uh, just leave this behind. And the version V2, okay? Number of CPUs, I let the default one enter the path of the training folder. So this is the training folder, only the folder and not the file itself. So just paste here the path. In my case, I have created my own training folder. So this is where I paste wave files, they're called samples. So yeah, so just paste your uh, your own vocal sample here on the wave file. I recommend wave file, not mp3, not uh, you know other file types of audio. Just wave, because wave is you know you lose less. So I copy this and paste it in here. So, and after that, uh, I just leave this information as it is, and of course your GPU, uh, harvest. I leave it to harvest, and they yeah, fill in the training settings. Except this, I make this as a hundred. These are the training. I don't know how to pronounce this e patches or something. I use one hundred, a batch size for the GPU three, uh, and you can, you know, set this no or yes. It, it is. Uh, it's up to you. 
And once you're ready, once you have your voice model ready, uh, you can just click on one click training. After you click this, it will perform, you know, the step by step procedures. And bear in mind that it might take time to finish. So you need to have this, you know, command prompt with you. This is where you will monitor how the conversion is doing, how the progress of the conversion. And it will just tell you that it is uh, when it is finished or it is when it's successful. So it is when successful, it means it has converted, uh, it has created your uh, voice model. After it has been created, go back to this model inference. Just click on refresh voice list and index file and the ones that you created will appear here. So in my case, these are the things, these are the voice models that I created. So uh, yeah, uh, I, did, I, did, I did some researches on the vocals. I used some vocal samples of them. I think it will be uh, just a minute or two should do having vocal samples from them. And that's just about it. So if you want to convert your voice, just, you know, if you have so many vocal models, voice models here, just choose any of them. In my case, I have already created them. So what I'm going to do right now is to show you um, to convert, how to convert somebody else's voice or my voice or your voice to one of these voice models here. So any of them. Okay, so let's do a sample, you know. I'm going to record my own voice doing a sonic and shadow greetings for my YouTube channel. Who likes that? Okay. So, here is it. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe. That's the only thing. All right. Thank you, Shadow. Let's go. And so I recorded my vocals. I'm not screaming, so uh, I use my neutral voice. Uh, I, I believe AI can help me with that. So this is my recorded sample. Let me just trim the edge. Settings. I do have shortcuts to make my work faster here in Audacity. So I'm going to need to amplify this, make it louder. Let's take a listen. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe. That's the only thing. All right. Thank you, Shadow. Let's go. Okay. So after you have crew, uh, recorded your vocal sample, uh, let's export this. Of course, to Wave. So name it, uh, any file name that you want. I use, I'm going to use double A, double B, double C, whatever. After it has been exported, I'm going back to this one. So under model inference, inferencing voice, I'm going to use shadow and sonic because I've imitated two characters at the same time, you know? So shadow and sonic. Um, so these are the uh, the uh, AI voice models I created for my voice. I used my voice as a sample to imitate these characters, but I cannot guarantee you to, to be perfect. So, yeah, the version 2 is I still use my voice as a vocal sample for this AI voice model. However, it has an improved version. It, it, it almost sounds like the character. So it is safer to make AI covers using my own vocals, you know? So I'm going to use Sonic uh, the Hedgehog. So of course we need to paste here the file location. I saved it on my desktop. This is the file name. Right click, copy as path, and I paste it here. So this is that one. Pitch extraction algorithm. I used Harvest. Harvest is best for speeches. Uh, it sometimes gives you a uh, voiceless speeches, so just be careful on that stuff, you know. The creep, I don't know if I pronounced this well, the creep is better for singing. It gives you the smooth vocals, um, it, rarely, it rarely applies the emotions if it's angry or crying, but I think creep is perfect for singing. Harvest is perfect for speeches, 
they, uh, this applies the emotion, the dimension or the dynamics of your vocals, the intensity, the opacity of your vocals, whether you're just screaming loud or softly speaking, you know? And another thing I've observed is the index app file. So after you have created your voice model, your indexing file should appear here. Now, the way, on my point of view, this indexing file gives more of the character itself. It can imitate how the character speaks, the accents, the pronunciation, and some other stuff, like emotions, yeah, of course, the dynamics, the vocals, etc., etc. If this is making a problem, you, you can you, you, you can no longer use this, you know. If you already selected one, for example, I'm going to use Jason Griffiths. So it is already selected. There is no option to deselect. If you have already selected one, just adjust this to zero. Search future ratio to zero. So if you adjust it to zero, indexing will not be applied. But if you adjust it higher, some of the indexing will be applied to your final audio output. So listen carefully or what suits you the best. Okay, and have many options as you can. That's what I'm going. That's what I'm currently doing. So I always pick what's the best one. So I'm going to show you right. Um, yeah, the transpose, uh, I'll set it to, I think, five or six. This is the semitones or uh, the pitch adjustment of the vocals. So it will not sound like chipmunkish. It will not sound deep. It is the same uh, from this interference in voice. So let's convert it. And let's hear Sonic's voice on my voice. Okay, let's just click on play. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe, that's the only thing. All right, thank you, Shadow. Let's go. Maybe we can adjust this lower to four. Now, the conversion speed depends on your, depends on the audio file, the sample audio file. If it's, if it's a short one, it can be converted faster. But if it's a longer one, you just, you need to wait a few minutes. And it also depends on your GPU's capacity or power. So if you have strong GPU, it can convert faster. If you have slow GPU, it can convert slower. Depends. So this is, the four hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe. That Let's make it to three Hey, semitones. it's Sonic the Hedgehog here. If you're satisfied with that, just download it. and It'll be downloaded to your computer. So it has been downloaded. I'm going to import this to Audacity. This is the first Sonic voice. And I want to create another one, so I can choose what's best, you know? Let me turn this feature off. Hey, it's it. Sonic the Hedgehog here, telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Download this too, and import it to Audacity as well. Going back, um, I, might, I might as well want to try in a version two of myself. This is, now this is my vocal still. I still I still use my vocals to uh, to this voice model. However, it it almost sounds the same as the voice actor. And let's hear it. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here, telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say. It. Okay, just download this and import it to Audacity. Now evaluate which is the best. I, this is what I do. I played each and one of them, part by part, which is better. So this one's first, Let I wanna hear this, if this is better than this two. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here, telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? Okay, the next one. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? The third one. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? I'll, th I'll think I'll use this one. 
what I do here, I will cancel this out. I'll, I'll take it as silence. And of course, uh, this is a shadow one. Shadow has nothing to say at this. <laughs> Sonic doing a shadow voice. Come on. Please subscribe. That's the only thing. We will, we will do another conversion for shadow. Now the last Sonic statement. All right. Thank you, shadow. Let's go. All right. Thank you, shadow. Let's go. All right. Thank you, shadow. Let's go. Just choose what's best for your ears. So this is just an example. Now, next thing, I'm going to do a shadow. If you want to explore other indexing files, you can. Um, zero semitones. Yeah, the same audio file. I'm using the same audio file. And I hit convert button. Let's hear it. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe. That's the only thing. All right. Thank you, Shadow. Let's go. Okay, I'll hit download. It will be downloaded to my laptop desktop. And I import this one here. And I'm going to do another one. Uh, let's say I'm going to do the version 2 of my voice model. Convert this, and it's already done. Just a second, you know how fast it is. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you what. Right, Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe, that's the only thing. All right, thank you, Shadow. Let's go. Let me apply a little bit of Jason's you know, indexing file. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe, that's the only thing. All right, thank you, Shadow. Let's go! It's pretty funny, Shadow doing a Sonic vocals. <laughs> okay, so I've downloaded it and I'll import it again to a test. Now I'm going to evaluate these two files, which one's the best or the better. Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe. That's the only thing. Oh. Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe. That's the only thing. Let's use this. And I'll delete this. Then merge these two. So on this trap, you, you already have two voices. Hey, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here telling you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Shadow? Shadow has nothing to say at this hour. Please subscribe. That's the only thing. All right. Thank you, Shadow. Let's go. That's how I do it, basically. And once I'm done, I'm going to export this file to Wave. And just save it. Whatever file name I want it. So if you're recording AI covers, I would I would suggest you use your own vocal sample. If you can sing, sing the song, record it. And once you're done with the singing, just do, do the same process that we did earlier, you know? But if you're having trouble with converting one file output, you can, you know, part by part, export part by part here, for example, for this one first. I'll export it to this file. Then after that, I, after I'm satisfied with the AI voice, next part, export the next part, and next part, next part, next part. It, because sometimes AI makes issues with only one file, long file, only a file with you know uh, different uh, voices in there. So if it's making an issue, you can you know choose uh, part by part, export part by part, and do one by one here on RVC. So that's what I'm I am currently doing on my AI vocal covers uh, and some AI covers out there. So hopefully this helps you out. And I'll, uh, I guess I'll be seeing you in my, next, in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and enjoy. Bye-bye.